Hey everybody, so it's Jay. I'm in the greenhouse today. And I'm gonna be doing something a little bit different for you today. I have a ficus that I'm gonna be working on. So let me show you that real quick. Okay, so I have a ficus tree here. It is a ficus benjamina. I took it as a cutting from one of these trees over here, one of the larger trees over here last year. Got a whole bunch of ficus benjamina trees that I'm working on right now. All of them are in the greenhouse because it's uh, wintertime still. And don't mind the wind, it's it's a little windy today. So um, we're gonna what we're gonna do on this tree is do a grafting. I think I'm gonna either put it here or I'm gonna put one up here. Because if you notice this tree is is pretty flat. Some of the branches are starting to grow off this way and off this way up on top. They're starting to look okay But I want to just put a graft on here somewhere to have a branch coming out this direction towards you or out this direction towards you so that um, So that it just looks different it looks better um, more uh, symmetrical instead of just being one-sided I think that it would definitely look better if it had branches coming out um, from each side, uh, I might take off this this branch here and just leave it. Oh, if I could film right today, that would be great. Take this one out and then put a branch over here and a branch over here, maybe or down here, where this one was, but going in a different direction, maybe. Or I might just bend this one. I might just use wire on that one. Yeah, that's probably what I'll do. I'll just use wire on that one, cut it back a little bit, and make this the, the leader, the main trunk. This one is definitely going off to one of the sides, and that one's going off to a side too. So I'm gonna set up the camera, and we'll get to work. Anyway, I hope you can see this without seeing everything behind it. Can't really put everything outside right now, and hope you can not mind the it's getting a little bit worse. Okay, so hopefully you can not mind the wind too much. It is having a really hard day today. Isn't it? All right, so I hope you can um, move past or look past the wind a little bit. Um, today it's really windy, so I'm just gonna get to work here. Um, I'm gonna take this branch here, and I'm going to. Um, I'm gonna cut off all of the leaves on it that are the larger leaves. The little branch here, I hope you can see that. This little branch here, I'm gonna leave that there. I'm gonna take this, I might just leave this leaf because it does have a start of a branch right there. If you can see that, I'm gonna leave this end leaf. I might leave this end leaf. Uh, now it looks like they're all gonna grow branches, but I'm gonna take a couple of these leaves off anyway because they need to be um, needs to be less perspiration from the leaves while it's trying to um, attach to the tree. So I'm going to take this one off. I am going to take this one off. I'm going to cut this one in down quite a bit. I'm going to leave it on there. I'm going to cut it down quite a bit. And the reason why I cut it at an angle like that is just so that it looks like a leaf. It's not anything particular um, special. It's not going to help it except the fact that it does have part of a leaf. It just looks better. So I'm gonna do that, and this one I'm just gonna cut straight across. No big deal. And then, with the end of the branch, where it's starting to grow, it's grow the roots here. You can see that it's starting to grow roots. What I'm gonna do is, the direction that I want this to be is this direction. Okay, so all the leaves are facing kind of outwards. So what I'm gonna do is make this this side of the tree be the part that matches up to the trunk so you want to slice this on this side that's the, the side facing out you want to slice it you want to slice it all the way off as such and then go to the other side and slice that all the way down to to where it comes off and it should have a straight edge so those pieces you don't want on there 
I'm just going to trim them off. So you kind of want a larger um, shaved side on the back side, the part that's going to touch the tree. So you're going to want a larger shaved side on that side. So I'm going to use my knife and I'm going to make it just a little bit longer over there. And you want to use a sharp knife because you want it to be a nice, clean cut. If you do a, a cut that's not clean and um, straight and smooth, then it just doesn't take as well. So next thing I'm going to do after I clean my knife off a little bit is I'm going to take off a couple of leaves on the tree so you can see what I'm doing. And it's not a big deal that I'm taking the leaves off of the tree this time of year. It is a tropical tree, so they it'll be just fine without without those leaves. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my knife, I'm gonna find out where I wanna put this branch, which I'm gonna put it in between these two branches here, right about here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to move this branch out of the way and I'm going to cut into the, the trunk of the tree. I'm gonna cut in somewhat deep into it because you wanna get into the, um, the woody part of the trunk. You definitely don't want your fingers in the way to cut yourself. That's not ever fun. So cut it that way and I'm going to cut it the other way just to make sure it's all even. And you can kind of rock the knife back and forth to get it down in there. Just cut it. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take your graft and you're going to stick it in there to where the edge, the edge of the cut is at the edge of the bark that you cut on the trunk. So there's that, and it is off to the side just a little bit, which I was told um, on a video that I watched on, on YouTube that you don't want to pull them back out and replace them. Once you've put it in there, that's where it's at. So be really careful when you when you put it in there, because this one is kind of off to the side of the trunk over here. It's not going to kill the tree, but it might not look as good as if I was a little bit more careful and got it in the middle. So I've got this um, like tape like stuff that you can get um, for doing um, fake plants and stuff like that. This is not exactly grafting tape but it does work I mean it's just not ideal. So if you can get grafting tape I would use um, grafting tape for doing grafts. <laughs> but this will work just fine because all you really have to do is secure this branch onto the trunk of the tree so that it just doesn't come off before it heals to the tree. Make sure that you get the, don't get your leaves caught in there. I'm going to take that leaf off too so I don't, get, so I don't rip the, truck, the branch off while I'm trying to secure it. And then you're going to want to go behind the branch a little bit to keep stuff out of the back of the um, graft right there too. Mostly you just want to go around the front, secure the bark back down to the trunk and secure the branch to the trunk. Honestly, you don't need a huge long piece. And the, the reason why I like this stuff is it's it's kind of sticky, but it's not it's not really really sticky. So it kind of sticks to itself. And I'm gonna try and talk loud enough you can hear me over the nasty wind that we're having today. So there's that branch on there. Move it a little bit closer for you. If you can see it, I hope um, it's just basically put on there. Um, obviously, it's not facing in an ideal direction right this minute, but once it does fuse, then I can bend it with wire and make it more secure. And I drop the other brick. Okay, so this branch, I am going to put on this side of the tree, and I probably should have used the larger branch on the lower part of the tree, but it's no big deal, really. It'll it'll work out just fine. And this is kind of a a trial run for me. I've never actually grafted before. I've watched a lot of videos. So um, I do know what I'm talking about, but in all practical 
um, practical practical purposes. Wow, I can't even talk today. That's awesome. So, anyway, in all practical purposes, I know what I'm doing. I just don't have a whole lot of experience with it. So, <clears throat> what I'm going to do with this branch, and as you see, it it is pretty substantial, and it does taper more towards this end than this end. So, what I can do is this. Since there's a, a leaf here, which will be a node, I can just cut it off right here, like that, and I can put this back into the the tray over there, and it'll actually continue to grow and actually become a tree. And then this one is small enough to use for what we want to use it for. So no big deal, no worries. So I'm going to take all the bigger leaves off of this one. I'm going to leave the two smaller leaves just to give it something to. Um, grow off of and then I'm going to come up here and I'm going to put this branch right in here. There was actually a branch right here at one point so if I put it right in front of that it might actually uh, when it heals up it might actually make that look like there wasn't a branch there so that might actually hide that scar so <clears throat> I think that's what I'm going to try and do here. that <clears throat> if I can even see this right in the middle push it in just like that I'm gonna use the tape here and I'm gonna stretch the end of it just a little bit and it does stretch a tiny bit but not textile skills to leave and not <laughs> what I would hope they would be especially for making a video but, persevere and keep going you don't have ideal situations for the things that you're trying to do but you just keep going keep trying keep working at it to make it through so I'm gonna put this also behind it to try and push the branch down just a little bit so that it's not sitting right up against the trunk like the last I did. And this this tree should heal pretty quickly I think because these trees grow roots relatively rapidly and they also grow new foliage relatively rapidly. Even though it is winter time keep the greenhouse at about 60 degrees so it's not exactly cold in here but it's not exactly hot in here uh, unless it's a warm day and then it definitely gets hot in here um, so anyway that is that I got them put on there I'll do a quick close-up of it here so that y'all can see what it looks like close up all right, so let's do the close up here really quick. If I can get it in there and it actually looks at the camera or the tree. There you go, I think that is focused. So it's just basically, you just wrap it around and then the other one is right there. You just wrap it around the tree. Well, let's focus on everything behind it. Not behind it. In front of it.
Yeah, that helps. All right, so there's that branch right there. And they are a different color right now, but the, the ficus, when it starts maturing, it, it turns to a lighter color like this. So at some point, these, these smaller branches up here will turn um, a lighter color. And if not, it might just be interesting to have different colored branches on a tree. Um, but if you also, if you look up here at the top of the tree, these branches up here are in fact a different color also. They are darker. So this tree should be just fine, like this branch here. It is a darker color because it's a new branch. So it should be just fine with the darker branches there. Um, now I'm gonna go ahead and do some, wow, really? There we go. I'm going to do some pruning on it to refine the branching a little bit more and see if we can make this look like a really nice um, tree here in the future. So I was mentioning this long branch over here being not the apex of the tree. This is going to be the apex of the tree and this is actually quite substantially taller. So we're going to cut that back to this branch here because I'll have this branch be the new top of this branch. Actually I'm going to have this, this branch over here be the new top. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut it back relatively close to that branch because I want this branch to stand up instead of being pushed over. Because if you leave like I did here, see how you've got the, the piece sticking up there? I cut that branch off. And if you leave that, it makes the branch grow at an angle off of it. And I really don't want that at the top. So I trimmed it at an angle so that it wouldn't. And then you just go back and trim these off later on after you've after they've died, just go back and trim them off. So there's that, and then this one I'll put in the, the cutting bed over there. Cut this piece off here. And then these, these, branch, these smaller branches here will now become the apex of the tree. So I've also got this branch right here that is a double branch going up this way, but I don't want this this one to be the apex. I want the, the apex to kind of go back off this way. If you notice, it kind of curves back and forth. So I want it to go this way and not that way. So I'm gonna reduce this one down so that it's not as dominant. I think my arm's all up in the way, but I think you guys will be able to just a bit after I get it all cut off. I don't save every single branch, but I do try to like save most of them. I think it's fun growing ficus trees. And obviously I've got like 40 of them or something like that. So it's one of my favorite species to work with. They're really forgiving. They're really pretty, I think. And you can do a lot of cool stuff with them like doing the grafting. I haven't done the grafting yet before this, but um, I'm sure that it's gonna work out just fine. And it's going to turn out to be a really interesting tree. So yeah, once that once that heals, then uh, yeah, then I'll give you an update on that after it heals and find out how it did. And if I would do it again in a situation like this or if I would wait until the tree is um, larger or more mature just kind of saw this one being flat didn't like it so figured I would try it on this one first because this is a year long cutting it's not a 10 12 year tree so I've got this this tree right here Let's pull it out for you guys make sure that you guys can see it part of it there we go so that tree there 
is a tree that I've been growing for um, honestly I think this one I've had for about three years so it's not it wouldn't be super terrible um, if I had an issue with it but I mean it kind of would because I really like this tree I've done a lot of work to it um, I've done some wiring on it already and it's it's starting to really look pretty decent with all the ramification so I mean that's that's why why I would work on the smaller tree first and not something like this because I mean if it does go bad that that tree as, as bad as it would be you know it wouldn't be as bad as losing something like this because that would be kind of devastating to lose something that you've been working on for multiple years rather than a summer so anyway I think that's gonna be it for this video um, I might do a video on how I uh, do my cuttings at some other point uh, maybe this spring when I actually trim back all of the ficus trees and um, in the spring, I'm also going to defoliate all the trees, take off all their leaves, and then it's going to rain now. I think the video is almost over. Anyway, I'll do a defoliation, trimming. Um, thanks for watching, and like my video, give me a thumbs up, and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.